Hey, Ben, come on over here. Say, good, uh, say hello to the folks at home. Say hello. Hello. What do you say? Hey, you don't say anything, do you? Mm. You smell good. Which means he hasn't been rolling around in horse poop lately. At least the top half of him smells good. So welcome. God, this camera bothers me. Anyway, uh, yes, this is the Friday beer video for 18th of March, 2016. I got something in my eye. Now I got my finger in my eye. Oh yeah, happy belated St. Patrick's Day. I hope you didn't uh, overindulge in the green beer yesterday or the uh, Irish food. Like Dennis Leary says, <laughs> Irish food. And he says, we take everything and we put it in a pot and boil it for eight hours. That's Irish food. <laughs> I suppose. Stew, Irish stew and all that stuff. It's good food though. It's good for you. Okay, the beer we have today. Uh, I don't think I did it before. It's been in my fridge for quite a while though. This is a PEI Brewing Company, so it's made right here on Prince Edward Island. Oh, I'm your host, Chris Collier, by the way. Uh, limited edition PEI Brewing Company Transmitter Coffee Stout. Alright, let's have a look at the bottle. Addition of alcohol. What? Does it say here? Locally roasted coffee brings a new dimension to our stout. Intense coffee aromas dominate, but are buoyed by a toffee-like malt sweetness. The finish is silky smooth thanks to the addition of oatmeal. Oatmeal? <laughs> so it really is breakfast in the bag. All right. Oh, and sawdust on me from my earlier efforts. See, this is the, uh, this is gonna be a boat that's gonna sail down my stream to the uh, Atlantic Ocean, over to Ireland. The SS. St. Patrick's Day. So what was I going to do? Oh yeah, they got a big glob of wax in the end there. I don't really know. I don't really know how hard this is going to be. Well, cold wax. Pretty hard. Pretty hard. Pretty hard. Like it. What do you think of Donald Trump? For us Canadians and you guys down there that have to put up with him. Jeez, do you think he's going to actually, you know, be, be, uh, you know, the Republican nominee? I don't think there's anybody else. No one, uh, uh, how does this work? Uh, I'd take him over old Hillary anyway. The Clintons are an evil bunch. So it said. This is going to be beautiful too. Maybe I should get my hot heat gun and melt it. <laughs> but I'd rather do uh, this and maybe slip and cut my finger off. Holy jeez, I would hate to be dying of thirst. All right, there, bye. Oh, Jesus, right up. Yeah. And just talk amongst yourselves there while I get this done. Okay, I think I've got enough wax cleared away. Oh, got the edge. There we go. Whew. This is going to be good because it. What the hell happened here? <laughs> I didn't just do that, did I? What's up with that? Mom's cleaning fluid, eh? <laughs> Spit. Remember spitting on your cloth and wiping uh, your face clean? Yeah. I wonder what I did that on. I was playing with my uh, Numeth Vulcan fire pistol. But right, I'll get to that. Let's take a smell. Definitely coffee. Definitely coffee. I got my Kilkenny cup glass today. Tick. 
ที่แจ็คไปพี่แจ็คอ told my doctor yesterday I only drink three or four beer a week now. <laughs> Little does she know, he know, she and he, that this is the size of the beers I'm having. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, really. No. no. She's watching uh, Disregard. Hmm. Coffee for sure. Like good coffee smell too. What the hell's floating in here? What is there a fly doing in my... I assume it's a piece of wax. Let's go for a taste. Wow. Coffee-ish. And beer-ish at the same... What the hell are you doing, Ben? Kids these days. Why don't you go outside and play with your uh, smartphone or something? Just like the kids of today. Hey, okay? you want to do that? Want to go? Wanna go for a ride? Go for a ride in the truck? <gasps> go get ready. Try and get your tongue down in there. <laughs> That's what she said. You like that, Ben? Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Jesus, drunk yet? Okay, go have fun by yourself now. Anyway, I was saying, yeah, this is my fire piston here that I got. They're expensive, too. I haven't really tried it that much. Boop! <laughs> so, uh, the idea is... In this little notch here, you put a piece of something that's going to catch on fire, like char cloth. Pretty basically char cloth, really, is the dose I've seen used. Then you put it in there, and then you give it a Fonzie, and it's supposed to come out, and it'll be an ember. But, uh, so I did that, and I did it with uh, different batches of char cloth, and Hitting it this way and hitting it a lot. <laughs> and it's not even getting warm, let alone catching on fire. And then I tried it this way. And now I don't really know what to do with it. I'll have to sit down and give it another try, I guess. This one's good because you can unscrew the bottom. Push it down for storage. It's made by New Myth Vulcan Fire Piston. I thought it came with extra O-rings, but I guess not. But I got lots of O-rings here. But it does come with a little, uh, little container of lubrication for it. <laughs> so I'll try that. I still have my fire piston kit. You know, you put together yourself. Who's somebody out there? James McIntyre? Maybe. Originally asked me if uh, if I wanted to trade for it, and he hasn't gotten back to me. So it's still up for trade. The kit. And after I fail from this, then I'll uh, have that up for trade. Cheers. Anyway, and I got a good package from my good friend, Maritime Spook, who lives over in New Brunswick. And every, oh, I don't know, three months or so, we, we save up enough goodies and we do a little trade. I sent my stuff off to him yesterday. He sent it off somewhere, and I got his stuff already. If you don't know Maritime Spook, uh, check him out. Uh, I put him on the detail box of my video last week. I'll have his there, and Alan Hoyt, his video where he's giving a giveaway, and what you have to do is make a boat. I guess I should explain this. <laughs> yeah, he's making a boat, so... Uh, Add a natural material. Well, this is natural. And then I'll just put the details in. And uh, sometime next week, I'll have my video with it and enter into his giveaway. Okie dokie. I see several things in here. The first one I think I want to come out is a little knife. A bottle opener? Cold steel. 
Oh, Finwolf. A folding Finwolf. Oh. Maritime Spook does a lot of reviews on uh, knives and stuff. And he's got, he deals with uh, the makers and uh, of a couple of different uh, uh, producers of knives or knife makers. And he does great reviews of them. I kind of like this uh, spook. Finn Wolf. I have a I have a cold steel Finn Wolf down in the basement, but it's not folding. This is kind of neat. I don't know if it's going to uh, take the place of the old Kislar, but it might. Smaller. Oh, sharper too. You did a good job. <laughs> I can see the belt clip can go on this side or on this side. It's got a lanyard hole. Doesn't have the f frame lock. It's got the lock here. It's not a flipper either, but it's a one-handed opening. Jeez, it's fairly solid too. There's no wiggle, well, a little wiggle room. Hmm. That may replace the Kislar. <laughs> This Kislar is made in Russia. He gave me this one, too. <laughs> okay. And look at this attractive. And it's a shred, I read by the button. Look how thick the sheath is, eh? And I bet you this is a skinning knife. Uncle Henry Shred. 183 UH, whatever that means. It's a heavy knife, though. Feels nice in the hand, too. We've got the little finger galoovies here. No, I don't hunt anymore. Can't stand the sight of something dying and uh, anymore. And uh, so I won't be skinning much with this. It's a, it's a fairly well made knife. Brass here. Hey, how come you didn't shine up the brass before you gave it to me? I need 50 push ups. I can't get over how heavy it is. See how thick the blade is? I'm sure Maritime Spoke knows what, exactly what kind of metal this is. Steel. I can't keep track of it. I know it's stainless steel and carbon steel. That's about all I know. And there's some uh, O2 steel and XM6595 or something, I don't know. This is a good solid knife though, thanks. Oh. Ah! I could see this in here and I didn't know what it was. A Zippo! That's a good gift, Spook, because I don't have a Zippo. And this is a nice small one too. Almost, almost. Don't worry, I got some fluid downstairs. I don't, I have lighter fluid, but I don't have a lighter, so. Just uh. But thanks, that's a, that's a good idea. Thank you very much, Maritime Spook. I always carry a lighter, but usually a Bic. Okay, Dave, that's uh, excellent stuff. I really like this. Shrade, Shrade's a good name. Well made sheath, and then we have the Kislar, or not the Kislar, we have the Shrey, no, Cold Steel, made in Taiwan, it's alright. Oh, wait a sec, this is AUS 8 Alpha Steel. Oz 8 Alpha? I've heard of that. I can't really keep up because it seems like there's new steel coming out every day. Okie dokie, ah, uh, that's about it. Uh, th this is a spoon that I tried to make, but uh, one of my first attempts. But the dog got at it and chewed the end off, so I turned it into a Ben beating implement. Ben, come here and get your beating. Did you have your daily beating today? Come here. Tell me when this gets annoying. Tell me when this gets annoying. All right, give me a beating for today. Cheers. There's a little left in the bottle, but that's okay by me. 
you're good enough god for me, ain't you? <laughs> well, enough of that silliness. Uh, take care, have a good weekend, and we'll see you next week. And uh, be on the lookout for the uh, launching of the HMCS. I'll figure out a, uh, a name for it. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by. Chris, out.